what's up vampire a and boda and phantom can you all hear me just fine hello james welcome can you all hear me just fine just want to make sure you can hear how am i doing bud i am doing all right blue loud and clear i'm not even joking like at this very minute oh snap it just finished i literally might be hard to see i literally just uploaded my first might be hard to see game review might be hard to see why is south park snow day is disappointing i literally <laughs> that's i think this is my first game review in like God knows how many months. And to even to my surprise, I was actually able to script it, record it, do the voiceover, all that good stuff. I was actually able to do it in less than 24 hours. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's quite something. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, Ethan, uh, I, I prefer to, it's, it's easier just to do, have I played Stellar Blade? Yes. In fact, that probably will be the mystery game after today's stream, because I have quite a lot to say about that. Um, I was thinking about doing a video, kind of, I think I talked about this last week, how I feel like I want to do a video, just for me personally, just talking about why I feel like 2024 already is the worst year of gaming for me in maybe over 25 years. <laughs> I have four games on my list, and it's not looking good. <laughs> like, Helldivers is okay. It just doesn't have a lot of depth. I couldn't get the, the, through the tutorial of, of Rise of Ronin, which was my most anticipated game of the year. So that was a disaster. South Park... Is criminally short, and the network error made the game piss me off, which I'm, I'll, I talk about it in my review, which I literally just upload it now. And I'm playing through the Stellar Blade demo, and I tell you, it's not what I was hoping it would be, and it has me concerned, because it, it's, it's literally the last game I have for the entire year. Like, I've already looked at the rest of the year. Nothing is coming out for the rest of the year that I'm excited for. Like, this is it. So, I'm very, very concerned. Maybe I'll talk more about it in a video. Or maybe you guys will see me when I do the, the stream after this stream. And you'll, you'll understand my, my, my concern. But Stellar Blade, it's, it's, not, it's not turning out how I, how I thought it would be. And I'm very, very concerned. Hello, Broken Limit. How's my family? My family's doing all right. Thank you for asking. What do I think of Spider Verse short film? I didn't. Wear, I wasn't aware there was a Spider Verse short film. What is my final prediction of WrestleMania Forty? Well, we have to. Man, I, I guess I could do. I, I need like a list. Like I don't know. Let me. I mean, if if all the matches are already. They're already set. I mean, okay. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll go down the list. So, okay. So, night one. The Rock and Roman versus Cody and Seth. Rock and Roman will win. I predict Roman will pin Cody. Women's World Championship. Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch is going to lose. Intercontinental Championship. Gunther versus Sami Zayn. I'm pretty sure Sami Zayn will... It makes... If... If it were the other guy, I would pick him to win, but I think Sammy's going to lose. Jay versus Jimmy Uso, I think Jay's going to win. Six-pack, uh, they're finally splitting up the tag team championship, thank, thank God. So you'll have a Raw championship and a SmackDown championship. I think that Awesome Truth will win the Raw, and I think that, surprisingly, I, I, I will go so far as to say I think... 
A town under will get those SmackDown ones. You have the damage control versus the other three ladies. I think the other three ladies will win. You've got Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee versus Santino. I think Santanos and Dominic will win that one in the night two. Um, I think I think Cody will win, but it'll be a mess. Because apparently we, we, we've... Okay, I mean, I, I'll get to you guys' questions. I'm just trying to get this as quick as I can. Apparently, we revealed what a bloodline match is. It's pretty much a no-holds-barred match, which means anyone can get involved. So if you know that, and you know that all the members of the bloodline are going to get involved, it's probably sure that a bunch of superstars are also going to get involved. So it's going to be this massive in-game fight where you have Cody and Roman fighting in the ring or fighting around the ring, and you have like every member of the bloodline fighting with someone else, and it's just total chaos. I think, like, I think Stone Cold will show up. I think Cena will show up. I think people that Roman has screwed over will show up. I'm pretty sure the bloodline is going to cost Seth his title. That'll include Seth to come involve himself. Like, it'll just be a mess matchup. And I think at the end of the day, I think Cody will win. Uh, World Heavyweight Championship, I'm sure Seth will lose. Drew will win. But the bloodline will get involved, as they always do. Uh, ISO Sky versus Bailey. I think Bailey will lose. Uh, you know, United States Championship Triple Threat. I think Kevin Owens will win. Logan Paul doesn't need it, and I don't think Randy needs it. LA Knight versus AJ Styles. I think LA Knight will win. Uh, Bobby Lash and the Street Profits versus the Final Testament. I think the Street Profits and Bobby Lash will win. So that's just just my thoughts. This game looks like a ga like game of the year. If you're talking about Stellar Blade, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> My friend is playing Rise of Ronin, and he's, plays, he's playing it on easy mode, and he says it's pretty fair, so I, if I ever get it, it'll probably going to use that difficulty. No, I was playing on normal difficulty. I've, I never play games on easy, so <laughs> that's just not me. Uh, you heard a rumor that Linkin Park would continue without Chester. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I don't know where you heard that rumor. I don't think, the, I, I think it's dead. I don't see a point. <laughs> I really don't see a point. Uh, Lincoln Park, you have to remember, when Chester Bennington passed away, Lincoln Park was at its worst. Like, I'm sorry, like, One More Light is an awful album. It's not good. And Lincoln Park's popularity had been in a steady decline. So now that you've lost your lead singer, I don't really see the point of continuing on. I, I, I really don't. I would prefer them just not do it. Like, I think the little tribute show they had, like, shortly after Bennington's passing, I thought that was nice. But, like, I think we need to stop. I really do. I, I don't see this band going forward unless they just need the money. And, and, and that's the only logical reason I could see them going forward is that they desperately need the money. And they know that doing another album or trying to do another tour will bring in people, but it's just not going to be the same. Brian, it's my first RPG game I've played ever since the graphics look very realistic. Eh, I guess. With a, with a new singer? Well, that would be ballsy if Linkin Park did that, but yeah. Have I seen the recent Ghostbusters movie? Um, no, but I heard it, uh, it wasn't that good. It was weird. So, I saw clips of it online and I was like, I don't think I need to see this in theaters. <laughs> I mean, the physical of this game is realistic, and that's why I bought this game. Are you talk? Okay, are you talking about Stellar Blade? You, you gotta clarify. Uh, do I like bowling? Uh, no, <laughs> no, I do not. I, I, I just, I hate bowling, <laughs> and yet I've been stupid enough to work at a bowling alley for ten years, <laughs> almost ten years. It'll be ten years in October, which I really want to try to do something else. But yeah. <laughs> Have you liked The Rock's heel persona for the last few weeks? Um, it's... Well, as someone who didn't get to experience heel rock at the peak, because I, I didn't start watching WWE till probably 2005, uh, you know, it, it seems like we might be getting into a much more extreme version of the Attitude Era. I mean, they're showing blood. They're using swear words, and they're not turning away, so... I don't know. We could be entering a new golden period that I never got. We might be seeing like the Attitude Era point two. So, yeah. Uh, have I seen Godzilla vs. X-Kong? No, I, I I don't watch those films. I think the last one I saw was Kong Skull Island, and I thought that was okay, but I've, I've not watched the last number of Kong and 
Godzilla films. Heard of a German pop singer called Janice? Uh, no, boom, no, I, I have not. If there's one good thing I can say about 2024 is that it'll be an awesome year for horror movies. I, I hope so. I, I hope so. I'm, I'm not that into horror films, to be fair, so I, I'm, I'm glad you're having a fun time. Out of all the movies you have planned to see this year, what movie you say is my most anticipated movie to see? Uh, I, I don't know. That's it's, it's nothing. The weird part is... It's nothing but a, a year of, of sequels and just just sequels, really. I mean, Dune 2 is a sequel. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, that's a sequel. Deadpool 3 is a sequel. Craven the Hunter, I don't even know if I'm going to see that one. Beetlejuice is a sequel. Venom 3 is a sequel. Gladiator 2 is an unnecessary sequel. And then Sonic 3, that's a sequel. But, like, most anticipated? I, I'm not sure if I have any. I don't think I have one. Because, like, there's only, like, for the rest of the year, there's only, like, two films that are, like, I will 100% see those films, and that's Beetlejuice 2 and Sonic 3. But, like, the other ones, like, those are maybes. Like, I don't, like, Gladiator 2, who the hell asked for that? Venom 3, I hope it's better than the second one, maybe. Craven the Hunter, I mean, it, it's rated R, so that that's something, but... And Deadpool 3. How's Disney going to screw that up? I mean, Disney's never released an R-rated film before, so I, it might be just a lot of censorship. That's what I'm worried about. Your most anticipated movie is Deadlock Gladiator 2 and Sonic the Hedgehog 3. I mean, good luck, Boda. I, I, I have no idea who the hell asked for Gladiator 2. I mean, Max misses... I mean, I know the story, but like... Maximus is dead. I mean, I heard there was like a story that he might be. It, it, it's it's too complicated. I heard it from Rockfeed. Uh, what am I hoping to see in a, the, the season of South Park? Uh, for it to be good, can you believe it's actually been two years since we haven't had a new season? Like it's crazy. Like these seasons are like ridiculously short. Like I was doing research on a certain statement, and like. The last season is not like came out like it it it's short. Like they, these seasons have been getting shorter and shorter. Like they're only like ten episodes long, and like the last season I think was twenty. Like as I'm looking for is like is twenty six, and there's only six episodes, and that's that's crazy short. I'm hoping that they do a parody of Willie's Chocolate Experience. Oh, I'm sure they'll do that. <laughs> yes, yeah, Stellar Blade. You know what? I, I will talk more about it, and I might do a video of it, but I'll talk very in-depth when I do when I do the, the live stream play of it after after this stream. Like, cause that that's what I'll stream. I haven't even beaten the demo because it's it's so frustrating. But I, I'll talk more about it. Do I like archery? Um I, I would like to try it. I have my own bow and arrow, so, you know. Have I played the Tales, Principles 1 or 2, both really good puzzle games? Uh, no, Dylan, I have not played that. Does your hatred for bowling have something to do with your working at a bowling alley? Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. Oh, my God, I hate bowlers. <laughs> I hate bowlers. I hate people who bowl. They are some of the most infuriating individuals I've ever met. Ever. Like, I'll even say this. Like, I don't think any of anyone at my job has heard me say this. Personally, I don't actually like my job. I really don't like the work. The reason I keep coming back is for the mechanics I, that I work with. <laughs> because out of all the jobs I've had, and I think I've had five jobs, this is the only one where I've actually worked with a great group of guys that perfectly understand the bullshit I have to deal with every single day. Because we're all dealing with it. <laughs> We all have anger issues. We all get frustrated, but we're in, we're in this together. And I've not experienced that kind of just unity as a unit from any other prior job I've ever had. Like that's what's kept me going. Like I think I've told this story before, but like literally, I was at my job for like three years. I think I've told this story before. Um, and I wanted to. I, I knew I wanted to quit after like two or three years, and like. The 
the next conversation, because I know my dad had gotten me this job, because that's how much power he had in the company. So my dad actually created the job I currently have. And the next, the li literally, literally, the next conversation I was going to have with my dad was asking if I had his permission to quit. And at his memorial service, it was so awkward for me that his boss went up and he said that even though, you know, my dad had passed away, he was so happy that his son, which is me, is continuing his legacy with the company. No one knowing I wanted to quit. <laughs> so that is pretty much added an extra six years longer than when I wanted to quit, <laughs> which is nuts. Like, I was like, oh, God, no, I can't quit now because my dad's boss has just made it public that, oh, I plan on staying with the company a bit longer. So. But to be fair, I, I am glad I stuck with, with where I'm at because of COVID because they, they, they took care of us very well during COVID. We were still getting paid our, our full amount. And I'm not, and, and I know a lot of other places weren't doing that. So the fact that even during COVID, we were still getting paid – what we should be if we were working is, is something I will be forever grateful for. And they recently finished building a our, our own private medical facility at work at my job is so like whenever I get sick, um, I don't have to go to the hospital or like a UMC. I can just go to our private medical center and like they'll see me right away. Which is like what well, they were the first that like did the analysis on my high blood pressure, which is why they've been like give me like my, my medication which currently now i'm on two different types of medication so yeah do i like riding horses uh no med boom I, I i'd like to try it one day uh winter goes uh, how you doing what's up what do i think of the rock recent heel run and his feet with cody i think it's been pretty good but i think it might be a setup because i think everyone wanted rock to go up against roman it was just i think it's going to happen it was just bad timing because it was cody's time i i think that that's what it was how come you like the sonic movies but don't like the games because the games haven't been good for a very long time i think the peak of the sonic games was in the 90s but again my, my brother was the sonic fan i was the mario fan but i i, I love i love the movies are there movies worse than Lockout 2012? No, I I I I I, I liked that film. It was there are some weird things about it, but I, I liked Lockout. Uh, the only game I'm really excited for is Black Mint Wuhan, a uh, Broken Limit. I've I've never heard of that game, but I'm oh, glad you're excited. Hey, what's up, Zach Tarf? How are you doing? Hang on. Hang on. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm just going to post. Okay, hey, hang on. It's it's not officially up. South Park Snow Day 2024. Comments on. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, I think it finished. Yeah, my South Park review finished. Previous video and then just. Prior video, I don't know. Let's just add that there. Next, next, publish. Okay. Okay, now my soft park videos. My first game review for twenty twenty four. Okay, now my review is officially out. Yeah, now it's officially up. Okay. Uh, the only... Da, 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 da. Which villain from the Dark Knight trilogy terrified me? Well, none of them, but I thought Joker was easily the best one. I think each threat was different. Each threat was a different type of threat, and I liked how they were all different. Broken Limit. Uh, I'm Muslim, and I tried watching South Park, and I was pretty uncomfortable watching it. It's not for everybody. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, South Park can push the limit. Um, but, you know, um, I've been okay with it. Okay, I'll be back. My, my, I'll, okay, give me like 20 seconds. My, my throat's going out, so I, I gotta get a drink. Hang on.
I swear to God, I don't know why my throat only starts drying up whenever I do streams, live streams like this. I don't know why. South Park has gone downhill after the pandemic S episodes. You might be right. <laughs> you might be right. Um, and if the the game is is any like context of that, you, you're absolutely right because I, I swear to you, Snow Day is like the most tame <clears throat> South Park I've seen in a long time. Like it is so toned down. Like you just you just swap out the the swearing, which it, it kind of seems like it's like they're swearing like un, it, it's not necessary for them to swear at certain times. This game easily could have been teen. Like, it's so short. It's, like, criminally short. And so tame. Like, I think the most disgusting thing in there is you take on, like, a sandworm made of crap. That's about it. But, like, there's, like, none of the excessiveness of the prior two games. And, and, and you can tell. What do I like more, cats or dogs? G-Law, I am a dog person. Absolutely. What is my favorite thing to get when you know, I was when I go shopping? What do you mean favorite thing to get? Um, I I'm not sure. <laughs> I I I think it depends on what I want. So yeah. Uh, you love South Park. South Park is sexy. Yeah, I'm a South Park fan, but you know I won't lie that it's not as good as it used to be. It, it could always could make a comeback. Brian, I bought Ry Ryden t-shirt, his back art from the back of the t-shirt, and the front says, neither enemy nor friend. Oh, that's pretty cool. Send me a picture. You need to create a good work environment despite how shit the job is. Oh, dear God. <laughs> is it hard to moonwalk? No. I think, I think it's just surface and leg strength. That's the two things you need. Um, I've seen people be able to do moonwalking on different surfaces, but like... It very much depends on, on, on your your footwork, your foot gear, and your leg strength. Like, Michael Jackson wore very specific shoes when he performed. Very specific. Because of how it allowed him to move on the stage. Like, you, like, like I can't, like, I've seen people be able to, like, moonwalk in, like, Air Jordan 1s, but it's only on a certain surface. So, it those are the factors. It's, what are you wearing and the surface and your your thigh your your calf strength your inner your 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 lower leg muscles because the motion requires a little bit of strength it requires you to hold yourself in one position as you slide your leg back and then just keep rotating like i don't know maybe one maybe one day i'll upload like a like a a short clip of me moonwalking what is my favorite dish to order at restaurants uh panda orange chicken always so today I finished Resident Evil Remake, one of the worst games of 2024, and is unfortunately the one Resident Evil game that is 0 for 10 for me. Wow. <laughs> uh, damn. Uh, wow, you must have disliked it more than I did. Like, I would never play that game, but like, just from what I saw, if I had played it, I would have given that game like a 5 or a 6. And to go from a 5 or a 6... From the OG being like a 10 out of 10 and being like my fifth favorite version game of all time. That's a major step down. Uh, Zach Tarf. So, Brian, you think Capcom will do well with their new stuff? I hope so. I mean, you know, this guy have the right ideas and the right team. Jackie Boy. Hiya, Brian. Was rereading how Doomsday was made and crazy stuff. Oh, yeah. How, you know, first the scientists, Kryptonian scientists... Killed this baby, cloned it, killed it mold over and over and over and over and over times. And pretty much anytime Doomsday was killed, he would come back and he, then he couldn't be killed the way he had been killed before. So you had to constantly keep finding new ways to kill Doomsday. And then he would just come back, adapt, and then you had to come up with another way. But yeah, some dark stuff. Uh, how's my day going, Winter Ghost? Uh, productive. Very productive. Got a review up. My, I wish I uh, had a little more time to do another review. Uh, went to the gym this morning at 2 in the morning. We'll probably go to the gym later at 10. And then go to bed at 2 in the morning and then get ready to go to...
Hello? Odd spam calls. I get them all the time. I apologize for that. Uh, da, 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 da. Brian, Sonic Tick movie almost did what was in Sonic Adventures, but they forgot to add Chaos as a main villain. That would have been dope. I think what they did was all right. I don't think you have to go too far into the lore. Uh, you just got a notification of your video. Yeah, I literally just sub like literally like I'm actually surprised. I think that might be a record in terms of the the fastest I've been able to get a game review up in terms of scripting, voice recording. Live recording, editing, and uploading. That might be a record. Uh, would you be James Bond? Would you be James Bond to be a hero or cool for, or for women? I, I don't understand the question. Like how how you've worded it doesn't make sense. It's like would I like to be James Bond? No, I would not. That is not a fun job. The RPG software games are amazing. Loved Fractured Butthole. Oh, Fractured Butthole is my favorite of the of the games. Like, I don't know. I think the, like, the sad part is, like, the soft part games have, like, followed the trend of, like, some of you might not remember, of, like, the 2000 era of comic book movies. Where it was, like, the first game, the first movie was good, the second one was better, but the third one just couldn't land it. And that was, like, so many trends. Like, Blade. Blade 1 was great. Blade 2 was better. Blade 3 wasn't that great. Spider-Man 1 was good. Spider-Man 2 was amazing. Spider-Man 3 wasn't great. X-Men 1 was good. X2 was great, X3 not so much. Lot of lot of trends like that, and, and now it seems like South Park has also gone down that road. Heck, even in some cases, the Dark Knight trilogy went down that right, but like all three of them are still great films. It's like Batman Begins was a great film, Dark Knight was a masterpiece, and like Dark Knight Rises wasn't quite as good. It was still a great film, but. I would still say that Dark Knight Rises is the weakest of those three films, but it's still a great film. Like, still a great film, but like it's, it, it, it. Very few films. The third film is, is the best. Very few times is that the case. Uh, favorite part of Battle Strength Collection is the Five First Journal. Absolutely, absolutely, I love that. Brian, guess what I. Have heard rumors they're going to work on Matrix. Oh dear Lord, Matrix Five. Uh, why? <laughs> why? I hope that's just a rumor. Matrix Four was a total disaster, and people like to complain about Reloaded and Revolu Revolution. <clears throat> My God, I wish they'd never made that. That was awful. Nice PlayStation chair. Where can you buy it? Um, hmm. Where can you buy this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You're gonna. Have to, I would. I would look on Google. Uh, this. This was a specific. This was a. This was a rare chair to find. Like I was looking for a gaming chair specifically that had PlayStation on, it, and this is the only one I could find. So you, I would look on Google. I would look for DX Racer PlayStation chair. I think this. This chair was like five hundred dollars. It was like, like it's hard to see, but like I have like another DX Racer chair. Like right there and I bought like another one that was orange I gave to John and I think he might still have it but yeah I, I, I love this chair uh snow day is basically soft park woke no 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 it's it's not woke no, 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 no. I, I, I promise you, Vamp. It's, it's not woke. It's just, it's toned down. I, I promise you. It, it's not woke. It's just toned down. It's just toned down. It's, it, it doesn't try to not be offensive. It, it, it just, it's not as, it's. You've seen better. That doesn't, that doesn't make what they do awful. It's just you. It's just at this point, it seems like they took a step back. But I promise you, it, it, it there's no way it's woke. <laughs> Damn, I'm really far behind. 
Brian, you heard also that they'll also be doing open world. Oh, I heard that. No. If, if Resident Evil 9 is open world, then I'm just going to avoid it. This Resident Evil does not need to be open world. Uh, would I like to own my own strip club? No, I would not. Uh, what's up, Sean? What's up, uh, Sean? How you doing? Uh, Vin didn't tell my day going productive. Uh, I just uploaded my first game review in like, feels like four or five months, and yeah. The last South Park episode that made me laugh was the Canadian Prince Phillips and, oh, the one where they say we, like, like respect our privacy and they just keep trying to get attention so, like, they're, they're like... <laughs> The last thing you need to do is moonwalk thing about something. <laughs> okay. I uh, recommend listening to Liverstein. My recommendations are The Last Man Standing, Half-Life, and Super Kid. Mm. I have a video idea. The best video game sequels. I know. I know I've done that. I want to double check that right now. I mean, I'm already behind on questions because you guys keep asking good ones and that's taking the time. I know for I know for a fact there's no way I hadn't I've not done that already. Okay. Video game sequel. I I know I I know I had to have done that. That did 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a 2018 video. So it's like six, so it's like six years old. But yeah, I knew I had done that. It's just, it's just old. But yeah, I'm looking at it. 100%. Yeah, I knew. Yeah, that, that an idea. That is too good an idea for me not to have done that already. I don't think that list would have changed by now. Uh, I like the Resident Evil 4 remake, but it doesn't touch the original. Heck, I'm perfectly glad. Yeah. Would you love to be Superman? No, I would not. Uh, I got the PlayStation 5 Bluetooth headset today. It's pretty good. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, so, Brian, would you prefer working for Darth Vader or Elusive Man? Ah, uh, That's tough. Vader would just kill me if I screwed up. Plus, as a stormtrooper, I would feel expendable. But Elusive Man would also think I'm expendable, but I think if I got a good enough warning before he went all crazy, I might last long. So I think I'd go with Elusive Man. I'll just be like someone like Jacob who works with him and then get, has a chance to get out. <laughs> Brian, you got call from GW Virus? No, 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 just another spam call. Uh, I recommend On Cloud Shoes. Do I have any thoughts on Bayonetta? Um, you know, it's okay. I've only played the first one. Uh, I've not played the second one or third one. I, th I thought it was okay. Uh, do you think the T-1000 would kick Arbiter's ass in a fight? Would... Duh! I mean, what the hell is... I mean, unless Plasma, like, melts liquid metal pretty well, I don't really know what Arbiter could do. Can you say Ghostbusters is a good movie? Have you seen the new Ghostbusters movie? Um... No, I've not seen the new one, and I don't think I was going to go see it. I liked Afterlife, but I've heard this one just isn't as good. Terminator One was so good, was amazing, and Three not so good. I thought I think I think Three is better than most people give give it credit for. I mean, it it also falls in the same trend as a lot of prior movies, where the first one was good, the second one was amazing, third one not so much, but I I definitely think it's the best Terminator sequel after Two, like. Salvation has, like, one mistake that screws up the whole film. Genesis has a lot of problems. And then Dark Fate is just the worst. <laughs> Do a video talking about five best third entry games. That's tough. Third entry? I, I don't know if I could do that. That's tough. When's my request video remake... Video coming out. What, what remastered remix? It was. I think that was like the. I think I'm still working on that. I'm just. I'm just held back on a lot of things. But uh, and I'll, I'll get. I'll try to get it up and on a can. I've just been kind of busy. Magic Four was the worst. What's up, Anthony? How you doing, Brian? They changed the Silver Surfer to a woman. I don't know anything about. I. I don't. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't kept track of comic books in a long time. So. 
I'm not surprised. But again, I'm not a Silver Surfer fan, so I don't really care. Have you ever played Fallout New Vegas? No, I have not. I think I've tried playing one Fallout game once and I didn't like it. Do I think Storm Stormtroopers could beat T-1000? No. No, I did not. I mean, what are they going to do against a guy against a guy that can mimic? I mean, all he has to do is just change into a stormtrooper and then just stealthily kill them when they're not looking. I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, how would you detect the T-1000? I mean, that's the problem. You have to remember, you have to remember the T-1000 is a shapeshifter. He's an infiltrator unit. I mean, if you don't have a way of detecting him, what, what do you do? Do you enjoy wearing sharp suits? I never worn a sharp suit. <laughs> do I think a resin a re, re, rev nine from Terminator could stand a chance against? Oh dear God! Why do you people ask these versus questions? I'm like I'm so done with versus series. I'm really not interested. In, in, and and you ask the weirdest ones. You compare characters that have no business fighting each other. Like, can we just can, we, can you tone down on the versus questions? I'm really just not interested. Like, if I see a versus question moving on, I'm just going to skip it. It sounds like Snow Day, South Park is PG. Dish. It it almost is. That's what it feels like. I feel like Resident Evil is going through a very dark path. Um, It could be, but heck, some people like it. Do I think Ghostbusters... Do I like Ghostbusters if you do say you like it? Um, what, Like, the first two in Afterlife? Yeah, I like, I like Ghostbusters. It's okay. Uh, video idea. Favorite video game soundtracks. Ooh, that's a... Ooh, that's a... Video game soundtracks. Hmm. You know, somebody... You know, that... That is actually... An idea. That I could get behind... I could give on that idea. Do a video of most disappointing movie sequels. Okay, that also sounds... No, I haven't done that one, but... God, so many. I don't know. I, I kind of want to venture away from movies and focus more on games, to be fair. Who do I think is the best overall dominant in of icons in Final Fantasy 16? Oh, definitely Clive. I, I, I did a video about this. Easy. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Boda. When you get a chance, look that up. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, I did it last year in July. Yeah, worst the best icons of Final Fantasy 16? Yeah, I did a whole video about that. Yeah, check it out. I'm pretty sure I hit Clive as number one. I'm pretty sure. Not a lot of people saw it, though. Yeah, pretty sure. Uh, yeah, let's see. She's weak. Mm -hmm. Hein, Ruda, uh huh, Gobbit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here it is. I'm looking at it. Yeah, Clive. 18 minutes long. I said Clive was the best. Yeah. What is my favorite How to Train Dragon movie? I I don't have one. <laughs> I, I I honestly, Sean, I don't have one. What is my favorite movie, man? My favorite movie currently is an Inception. Christopher Nolan's Inception is currently my favorite movie of all time. With Dark Knight and Terminator 2 being tied for second. What is one movie sequel you would erase from existence? Uh, Dark Fate. Terminator Dark Fate. That did so much damage. I mean, it's, it's bad to make a, a bad sequel, but for your sequel to make Terminators 1 and 2 completely pointless to watch is insulting. It's it's almost a crime. <laughs> Who would... Oh, I'm not even going to answer that. Uh, do a five, top five favorite video game main stories. That's too many. I couldn't. I couldn't do five. I'm such a story-driven gamer. I got like 50, 
stories I think are amazing. I, I couldn't drop it down to five. Uh, have I done a top five favorite video game soundtracks before? I don't know. I, no, I have not, which is why I typed that idea down from Jackie Boy. That That's a good one. Uh, who would... Uh, I'm not going to answer that. So... Do I think someone like Miranda would have been spared Vader's wrath given how competent she is? Probably not. Do a top five favorite maps design in video games? I'm not sure how to do that. Is Dark Fate worse than Toy Story 4? Yes. Yes, yes. You see, Toy Story 4 I can just ignore, but like Dark Fate actually ruins a better film. <laughs> Blue Book, uh, I don't see your... I'm trying to see if I missed your question. I don't. I haven't seen it. I mean, I think you did. Your, la your, your last response was about Silver Surfer, so I don't know if, if I missed anything. That, that was literally your last question. Was You said that they changed Silver Surfer to a woman. I said I don't really care because I don't really follow comic books anymore, so I don't know if I missed your... I, I, I don't know what question you posted... Uh, have I played Stellar Blade? Yes, I have. That is what I will be streaming. Uh, and I, I want to talk about it as, as why I'm concerned. I desperately need this game to be great. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm desperate, but it's it's a struggle. Like, I thought going in, it was going to be like a mixture of... It was going to be like Near Automata with Devil May Cry Star Enemies with like a Bayonetta like visual aesthetic. And it's not that at all. It is so slow paced. And it feels more like a slower version of modern God of War. Like, the, the, there's so much you have to worry about. And it's not fast paced at all. Like, people are saying, oh, it's fast paced. It's not fast paced. It's very slow. And it has some souls elements that I like. But, like... There's some problems, which I'll, I'll talk about when I when I stream it. <laughs> My favorite kind of quote, darts does ruin innocent souls bother you? No, I own a massive company. I do that every day. Yeah, that was a good one. Top 10 instead. I'm thinking maybe I could go with five. <laughs> which godly econ boss fight was my favorite? Ooh, that was a tough one. I think Bahamut. Um, I think... The Bahamut fight was... Oh my god, those are, there's so many that were good. I lean more towards the Bahamut fight. Though the Titan fight was had multiple elements. So Titan, the Titan fight could also be the best. But I'm curious what Leviathan's going to be when it comes out later this month. <laughs> I guess that's a no. Oh, I, mi I must have missed something. Is South Park something that we could... <sighs> The, okay, bro, the problem with it is that the network isn't working. The network was... Bro, the, the network was not working. Like, I go into this... I go into a rant on my review if you check it out. Like, literally, anytime I tried to connect online, it wouldn't work. And it, it, it damn sure was not my internet. It wasn't my modem. It wasn't my router. It was their network. And I even tried resetting all of it. I tried... Like, maybe it was my router and modem. Tried resetting it. And... That was not it. And this was over multiple days. Like, I was literally trying for, like, 20 minutes at a time. Like, even in the even my review, I play, like, a 10-minute section of me. Uh, I sped it up. Of me trying to go and join a session. And it kept saying network error, network error, network error, network error. And even when I got into a session, it would immediately kick me out. Like, I wasn't kicked by, like, the team or whoever was hosting. The network just went out. And it's still down to this day. I tried doing it today, and it still wouldn't work. Like, some of the footage of the network going out was, like, stuff I got today. So, if it was working, I think we could play it together, but you would need a PlayStation 5. I don't think it's on PlayStation 4. I may be wrong, but I don't think it's on PlayStation 4. I think it's on, play I think it's on the current console. So, unfortunately, I don't think it's something we could play. If, we, if you had a copy, I think we could, but, again, they have to get that network error fixed. Uh, Vintage, I skipped your question. What was it? Uh, what's the worst JRPG game I've ever played besides Final Fantasy 13? Worse? Uh, 
I can't think of a worse one. That one st sticks out. Um, forgettable, maybe Final Fantasy IX, but like, that's just forgettable. It's not bad. Uh, did I ever see Blade? If so, what did I think about it? I just spoke about Blade. Um, I thought Blade was great. Blade 2 was even better, and then Blade Trinity just wasn't very great. It wasn't very good. <laughs> you have any favorite maps of Battle... Oh, um... Favorite map in Battlefront Classic? Um, no, I don't have any favorite maps. To be fair, I don't. I don't think I have any. Blade, uh, the night. Yeah, yes, yes, Anthony. I, I, I know. I know what you're talking about. I, I've seen that. Stellar Blade reminds me of near. No, that's what I thought it was going to be, Jackie Boy. I thought it, it, it reminded me of near Automata, but it's nowhere near as fast. Like that's the crazy part. Like I. Like, I literally reinstalled my copy of Nier Automata and played it. Like, I haven't played the game in, like, two years. And, like, my skill set was, like, just as sharp as it was back then. Because I was immediately able to beat, like, the final couple bosses. And it was so much faster. And then I tried playing Stellar Blade and, like, it's so slow. I was, like, there's, like, number of big issues that I'm concerned about. Uh, I think it would have been better instead of, uh, okay. Do you think a remake of Paper Mario Stick Star would be interesting? I, maybe, I don't know. I, I never played the first one. Do a video of your favorite movies you own? Uh, maybe, I, I feel like I've done that one before. What is your most disliked video that I've ever uploaded? It was the, uh, I think it was the Final Fantasy one. I'm pretty sure that's like the most disliked video I've ever done. I've never had a video that had that much of a negative ratio. I think that was it. Uh, uh, you tried playing Final Damnation 13. It was terrible. Yeah, I know it was terrible. That's why I hated it. Uh, do you think Live a Life sounds tempting? Uh, I've played that game. It was great. Um, I played the much updated version on Switch. I thought it was, thought it was amazing. Have I seen the new Dragon Ball game that's coming out? Yeah, I've seen it. I don't think I'll get it, though. Base bro, Stellar Blade needs to be successful. Can't believe in this day and age having a hot female character is a problem now. I was thinking about doing that, doing a video, talking about that, because apparently IGN is a problem with that, and apparently I maybe talking more about more controversial topics is what I need to do for my channel, so I like the next controversial thing happens. Uh, do a... Oh, God. <laughs> do a video tier of South Park Seasons? Oh, God, that would be impossible. <laughs> That is impossible. I don't think I could do that. I don't have time to do that. Like, in order to do a tearless video like that, like, good God. Like, how, like, I don't know. How many South Park episodes are there? There's currently, there are currently 325 episodes of South Park. Over 26 seasons. Each of them being about 22, day, 22 minutes long. I could not, I could not binge that. <laughs> that would literally take half a year. <laughs> Me working two jobs, that would be impossible. Yeah, that, that's, that's a tier list that's impossible. <laughs> that is logistically impossible. <laughs> uh, I have 13 on Xbox 3, but won't be playing because you don't like, I, I don't want you. No, you can play it and like it. That's fine. It's just, I have a problem with it. <laughs> I mean, I, I know people who have it and they like it i i just don't talk to them <laughs> but you know it's just, you can you know i don't judge uh 07 specter my favorite then quantum sauce i did i never saw specter well wait a second did i see specter oh wait i saw specter i, I didn't see the one after specter that's the one I, I i haven't seen if you were a master of lightsaber oh i did this question already hang on how much time do we have we got nine minutes uh if I, if I were my, if master of lightsaber form, what would I be? Mine would be one, two, three, and five. Mine would be two, three, and not two, three, and six. Who would win? Oh, Tally would win. Quantum Souls is one of the best scenes in the whole film. No, that movie was not very good. Have I played any other crime games outside of Grand Theft Auto, such as any of the Mafia games of Godfather? I played Mafia and I played True Crimes. Those are the only ones off the top of my head I can think of. 
Uh, I mean, a video of your favorite movie collection. Uh, maybe Sean. I, it's it's not very. It's not as big as I would like it to be. What if Parasite Eve was remade using the Reach of Moon engine? I've never played Parasite Eve, so I, I, I can't comment. Stellar Blade is not a hack and slash game. Play it like Sekiro and you'll see. I didn't play that game. <laughs> like, what people were telling me was like, it was supposed to be like, it was supposed to be like Devil May Cry with Near Automata with Bayonetta. So I was expecting fast pace. Like, no block. You have to worry about blocking, and the margin for dodging error is so small. Like, when even the training sections are frustrating, I know there's a problem. Who's the... Who is the most annoying video game character? Hope. From Final Damnation 13. He's, he's annoying. Why not make a tier list of your favorite game engines? Uh, I wouldn't even know how to judge them. Which Final Fantasy cast do I prefer? Cast from 7, 8, 10, 15, or 16? 10. Easy. That's not even a question. 10 is the best cast in Final Fantasy history. That's not even a debate. How would I describe Metal Gear Solid 3 in two words? A masterpiece. Or just the GOAT. How would I describe Metal Gear Solid 4 in two words? Satisfying conclusion. Uh, you like the cast of 7 and 16. That That's fine. Yeah, those, those are good casts. I'm the kind of guy who enjoys bad games. Heck, everyone has their own taste. Uh, love you, Brian. Take care. Uh, thanks, uh, Blue Flock. Thanks for st that was a little weird, but okay. <laughs> if Resident Evil 9 will be open world, it will be exactly like Metal Gear Solid 5, which is why I didn't play 5 to begin with. Uh, you love Parasite Eve, bro. Oh, okay. I didn't know you were. I didn't know you were into those type of games. Um, I I, I didn't know that. I mean. I have, I have some idea of what type of games you like, which is why I buy you games, <laughs> but I, that's that's one I, 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 I wasn't really aware of. <laughs> okay, we got six more minutes, and okay, 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 and Celtics are playing the Thunder right now, that's, that's good, even though they have the one seat locked, so I'm really not too concerned. Okay. Is there any kind of word to say about Liquid Snake? Kind word? Um, he's a formidable opponent. And in some cases, you can say he was a victim. But I think he takes it a little bit too far. <laughs> so I think that's all I could say. You should, uh, should upload another Just Dance video. I'm thinking about doing that. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm seriously thinking about doing that. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Bro's watching. Maybe well, I'm down there in September. If he wants to do a Just Dance video, I'll post that. Cause, cause the, the funny thing is the the second the second Ghostbusters Just Dance video, I actually recorded that at Bro's mom's house when I was living with her for about six months. I recorded it there. So I don't know. Maybe I'll do a third one. Uh, I unfortunately have the Wii version of Atlantis Squarepants. It always crashed on the second level. That sucks. Should ATS be the next God of War protagonist? I figured they would go in that direction anyway. I figured that. Like, I thought at some point that we would actually encounter the God of War, which was Tyr. I figured Tyr would go bad, and Atreus would actually kill him, and then he would take on the title of God of War. And therefore, when another game came out that focused on him, you could still call it God of War because now it's following a new God of War. You don't need Kratos anymore. Like, I, I would be perfectly happy if we don't use Kratos again. Like, his, his story is pretty much over. Like, I want to see what Atreus does moving forward. Like, that's where I want the franchise to focus on. So, man, you think the new DC movies will be good? I don't know. Just, I hope, I hope they're good. I, <laughs> that's all we can do is hope. Which video game character do I think deserves their own game? Uh, Virgil. Devil May Cry Virgil. He needs his own game. He needed his own game a long time ago. Best movie gunfight? Ooh. Best movie gunfight. I would probably say the best movie gunfight is probably the lobby scene in Matrix 1. Uh, that was pretty cool. Um, and the bar shootout in Desperados. That one, 
That's that's a legendary shootout. And John Woo has done a, a lot of famous gunfights too. But like those are the two that that really stick out to me the most. And we got about three more minutes before I I jump online. Is living in Vegas the reason why sometimes you look like you're not in a very good mood? Yeah, I hate living in Vegas. Bros know that. I, I don't know if bros still here, but like the thing about seeing him is that, ugh. Like whenever I go to see him in El Paso, I'm in like the happiest mood. Like for the first, like, like if I'm there for like seven days, like I was like the first five days, I'm in like the best mood. But like the six and like seven day, I'm in, I'm like depressed because I don't want to leave, but I have to leave. Because I have to come back to Vegas, and I hate Vegas. And I've tried leaving so many times. Like I, like, I moved out of Vegas to go to Phoenix for college. Had to move back to Vegas. Moved out of Vegas to go to Riverside, California. Was there six months. Had to come back to Vegas. Moved from Vegas again to Dublin, California. Had a great time. Something happened there. Had to move back to Vegas. I just want to get out of Vegas. I'm tired of it. Like Every, every close person I know outside of John has left Vegas. Like, the few friends I have from high school, they don't live in Vegas anymore. Like, bro's been out of Vegas for so long. Like, no one. Like, anyone I knew either moved away or, they pat or they're dead. And I'm just like, I'm the only one left. Like, my older sisters, they want to stay in Vegas because we have a lot of family here. But, like, I really want to go someplace. That way I can kind of just leave the stench of depression alone. Because, like, both my grandfather and father died here in Vegas. I do not want to die here in Vegas. I want to die somewhere else. So, and I feel like I need to do that just, just going somewhere else. Like, I've done everything you can in Vegas. Like, yeah. Do I like Guitar Hero? Yes, I do. I wish it would make a comeback. Which video game character do I think this is? Uh, I think I've already done that. Uh, why do I hate Catsis? Because he's a useless character. I mean, we go to visit Golden, Sauce, Golden Saucer... And he helps us do a little couple things, and he just follows us, and he's useless. Have you ever seen the movie Heat? Yes, I have. Uh, that also, that has a great shootout, but I think I think what makes that shootout good is the sound effects. That's what I like the most about it. It's not so much the fight itself, but like the sound effects. I think that is what make that makes that shootout effective. Uh, has there ever been a time where you were close to losing your cool at work? I have lost my cool. <laughs> That's happened to all of us. All of us mechanics in the back. We've all lost our cool. That's happened many times. I lost my cool at work uh, at the arcade job. Like, I know I'm going to quit. I know I'm quitting. I know, I know exactly the day I'm going to quit my arcade job. I know exactly the day. Like, I had, like, the worst experience this last week at the arcade job. I'm like... It was so bad. I was tempted to just walk out. That's how bad it was. Like, I'm sick of the bullshit I gotta deal with. I'm like, no one's gonna help me. I think I told Bro about it, too. So, you got any favorite Assassin's Creed characters? Yeah, uh, Connor. Not Connor. Edward. Edward and Ezio. Those are the two, my two favorite characters. And Shay. Shay's pretty cool, too. So, if I weren't living in Vegas right now... Would you be seeing a different side of me? Absolutely. Like, look, I'm the kind of person where if someone asked me to move in with them in another state or offered me a job in another state and all they had to do was just help me find a place and maintain it, I, 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 would, I would move out in a heartbeat. I, I, I wouldn't even question it. I, I would break my lease and I would leave. Like, just anything to get out of Vegas. Outside of Titus, which Final Fantasy character preference do you prefer, Cloud or Clive? Cloud, when he's done well. Not this remake Cloud. I like classic Cloud. Clive is a good character, too. He's a very good character. Cloud or Skull, who do I prefer? This is not a versus character. I prefer... Hmm. I prefer Cloud, but I think Squall was a better developed character. I think it took longer before Cloud actually became the character that I like, but I'm talking if we're talking like one-on-one -on -one game, I think Squall did a much better job developing. But I'm a, I'm a bigger fan of Cloud. How much time we got? Okay, uh, well we're past that point, but I'll give it a few more minutes and then 
uh, give me like five minutes and I'll start Stellar Blade on the live stream. So if you guys got any final questions, you, uh, you might want to get them out now. Man, this is definitely a tough episode, though. <laughs> I definitely, there are definitely some good ones. Mm. Don't got anything? What's the second worst game I've ever played behind that one? Uh, the, uh, the, uh, probably the, 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 the Last of Us. But again, I don't, I don't hate that game because I have a problem with that game. I hate that game because of people's reaction towards it and the reaction towards me for just thinking that it was a good game and not kissing its ass and them sending me death threats and saying that I was a fake PlayStation fan that had no business and should kill himself like that was ridiculous for a game like and I and, and, and the same thing happened with the Final Fantasy 7 remake I cannot believe I was getting death threats over that that is ridiculous like I mean I even like 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 that's why like to this day like the the remake video I'm so glad my Resident Evil 5 video like blew that away. I'm so glad. Lee's favorite level in Mass Effect game Jacob yeah, <laughs> that don't count. Well, that's the only <laughs> Well, maybe the maybe the Kasumi one. I mean, it wasn't bad, but like or I just didn't feel like I I needed to do it. I, it wasn't necessary. Because people were people were so pissed off that they were actually commenting on other videos. That's how bad it was. Because you have to remember, I I disabled the comments in the thumbs down and, and, and thumbs up ratio, which I could still see the thumbs down ratio, which was high. But I turned off the comments, and I even said this. I said, "Look, just don't like this is this is not a discussion where I'm going to talk back and forth. This is just strictly like someone at like you guys voted on which." negative rant video you guys wanted to hear me talk about i said i can talk about final fantasy 7 remake as for why i'll never play it final fantasy final damnation 13 or the last of us those are the three options you voted for final fantasy 7 i talked about it i wasn't hesitant about it i stood my ground i said this is not a discussion where i'm gonna have back and forth discussions this is strictly a you shut up you listen these are my thoughts they're not changing don't bring it up in any other videos. And people didn't listen, and they were commenting on other videos. And I and the funny thing is that my account is is linked to my phone, so like I was immediately seeing them and just deleting them, just just deleting them. And I still get them, which is ridiculous. That goes on to say that people who have those negative things to you would consider them man babies who don't know how to take an opinion. I know. What is a video game or comic book character? I didn't... They didn't do anything wrong. Wait, what? What is a video game or comic book character that didn't do anything wrong? I don't think that's possible. I think all comic book characters have done something wrong at some point. It's can they be redeemed from it or do they make a comeback from it? But yeah. Imagine if you ranted about Resident Evil Remake. I, maybe I would have gotten the same response. Maybe. But yeah. Okay, so I'm going to cut it there. Uh, give me five minutes. I'm just going to stop the stream. Start the PlayStation 5. Start uh, Stellar Blade. And then you guys, you'll guys, you see my points. And I'll see if I can beat it. Because again, I haven't even beaten the demo yet. So... So you'll see me. So I'm going to cut the stream and I'll see you guys in about five minutes. And uh, hopefully some of you guys will still be with me. And, you know, we can just dis discuss and hope that uh, Stellar Blade is good. <laughs> so I will see you guys in a, in, a, in a little bit. Oh, I hope you guys aren't leaving me. Don't, you know, not, you know, I hope you guys don't, not many of you guys leave. Because I'm just, I'm just starting up the stream. So, like, if some of you guys are still here, then, you know, just, just sit tight. And, yeah, so I'll, I'll see you guys in like five minutes.